Frontline correction staff have serious concerns about the huge number of high-risk child sex offenders dumped onto one Auckland street. As many as 16 are living in a single road in the suburb of Otahuhu, also causing worries for local schools. But corrections officials are defending the situation. A normal street, a mix of commercial and residential buildings, but as of this week, we're told it's home to 16 high-risk child sex offenders. A source says 10 of them living in this boarding house. 16 people in one street is not acceptable in any community. While the department disputes our figures, One News understands correction staff have had an influx of high-risk offenders virtually dumped on them in the past week. Four of them were moved out of Whangarei after concerns they were being housed close to a public park and local schools. Many of these offenders are on extended supervision orders, GPS monitored with a combination of mental health as well as drug and alcohol problems. One News understands at least two offenders have triggered GPS alerts in the past 24 hours after being too close to local schools. Another is facing allegations of stalking members of the public. From time to time our staff get concerned about workloads. Just two weeks ago corrections officials met with local school principals assuring them greater efforts would be made to notify them when at-risk offenders were moving into the area. As of today, schools have heard nothing. It is concerning that we weren't given notice. Last year, One News revealed another child sex offender in Otahu flouting rules by bringing a pregnant teenager into his room. He did end up going back to prison, but some in the area are questioning Correction's ability to properly monitor these offenders. It's the best solution that we have. Correction says it has no plans to move the offenders on. Oh,